So you started getting these sweet, sweet subs on Twitch, but then you wanted to have a Discord server where you can see all your Twitch subs and let them have a specific role. Well, watch this video on how you can do that. If you don't already know, my name is AJ and I'm a Twitch partner with over 25,000 followers. If you wanna drop me a follow, it's linked down in the description. I'm gonna show you how you can actually set the sub role on Discord now. Let's go. So first things we're gonna have to do is obviously go to our Discord and show you how you can do the, everything over there. So now that we are on our Discord, you actually you know have to have some subs on Twitch uh, before you actually see people getting the role, obviously. But it's gonna work for you as well because you are sub to your Twitch channel as well uh, automatically. So you go to your server, you click on uh, the you know the little drop down menu, you go to server settings, and we have to actually connect everything to the to the to the Twitch and integrate it basically. So what we go, what we do is go to our server, we find integrations, we click on integrations, and then it shows us a lot of stuff over here. You probably don't even have that much stuff. Uh, it shows you Twitch. So go to click on Twitch and click manage. You're gonna have to link your uh, Twitch to your uh, Discord account first. So if you haven't done that before, make sure to go to user settings over here, then go to authorized apps and connections. And then over here, you're gonna see uh, a lot of different stuff as soon as I disable the streamer mode. If you go to connections, you can link your Twitch account over here and then have it set to your profile right there. Once you do that, you go to your server settings and then you go to integrations, go to Twitch, and you can set up your Twitch with your server. Once you do that, you can basically set up what, uh, what role people are gonna get, uh, how many subs are gonna be synced. You can, uh, if somebody like joins your server and doesn't get the sub role automatically, you can click on sync. It, you can, I think, uh, sync this every five minutes or something like that. Uh, you can have the expired sub behavior. For example, when somebody loses a sub after a month or after, you know, a few months, uh, you can have it remove the role or get even kicked from the server. If you have a specific sub only server, uh, if somebody loses the sub, they can get kicked out automatically and then they have to rejoin once they sub again. Uh, grace period, you can have, uh, you know, one, three, seven, 14, 30 days, how long the person, you know, stays on a server before this expired sub behavior uh, hits, basically. So what that means is, for example, if I lose the sub today on 6th of uh, April, it's not gonna remove the role for me for another three days. So I have another three days to resub to keep my role. If I do, if I have it one day, then tomorrow I'm gonna have my role disabled because I didn't resub, basically. You can have uh, allow uh, synced subscribers to use your Twitch custom emoticons and Discord. This is pretty sick. Basically, however many uh, emotes you have unlocked on your Twitch with how many subs you have or if you're a partner affiliate, you can use those as server emotes on Discord as well, which I don't know why you wouldn't do that. It's basically free emotes for everybody so they can test it out, see if they like them. If they do like them, amazing. Uh, make sure to check this if you want. Uh, if you want to disable the integration, you click right here, and then you can set your grace period, and you're done. Once you once you do that, you can go to roles, and then over here is it's gonna be the sub role. You can name it whatever you want. You can color, you know, put the whatever color you want. Uh, you can uh, you know make a display role separately from online members, so it shows on the side. It shows only the subs. Uh, make sure to set the roles. Obviously, you know the view channel, the change nickname if you want. You can have sent, obviously send messages and then all the other stuff is, um, you know, whatever you want to have set up. I have the same thing over here. So if I scroll down, sub boss, you can see all of my subs that are connected uh, to their, you know, that have Twitch connected to their Discord. So basically, if they want to have this role, you cannot manually give it to them. It's a, it's a role that automatically shows up and you can only get it if you go to user settings and then link your Twitch account to your Discord account. Once you do that, you can force sync the, the server to find the subscribers that don't have the role or wait like 10 minutes and then they're automatically gonna get the role. That's how you do it. It's really, really easy and uh, hope you liked it. If you did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. Again, I do stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Make sure to drop me a follow up. It would mean the world. And uh, if you have any more questions, let them know in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.